News for fans of Universal Orlando nostalgia. After months of speculation and buzz, Universal has finally announced that King Kong's rampage is far from over. West 2's Amanda Ober is on Theme Park Patrol. It's official. Islands of Adventure is getting a new attraction, and it involves a creature who's massive, covered in fur, and once terrorized the city of New York. He's back. It's been 13 years since the original King Kong attraction at Universal Orlando closed. But next summer, inside Islands of Adventure, the Big Ape returns with a ride called Skull Island, the reign of King Kong. In the original movie, Kong crosses the ocean to terrorize New York City. But Universal says its ride is a whole new story. This character is so iconic, and we're really coming up with the next generation of storytelling for such a legendary character like King Kong. And I think that's what's Important. Instead of New York, the King Kong adventure will be set on his homeland of Skull Island. Guests will traverse a jungle, encounter hostile natives, and board large expedition trucks to travel the island, where, of course, they'll encounter its ruler, King Kong. It looks frightening, but creators say it is for all ages. Well, this is really going to be appropriate for the entire family. I mean, we have some tense moments, but it's just overall, it's going to be a great, thrilling attraction. We do have a height limitation of 34 inches, but it's really meant for everybody in the family. Universal's signature attractions typically create an immersive experience with lots of technology. They won't spill the beans yet on the Kong attraction, but the building being constructed to house the ride is large. A new King Kong movie comes out in 2017. Universal says it has no connection, but experts say a new movie can always help a ride stay relevant. At Universal, Amanda Overwesh, 2 News.